So today we are reading Chaitanya Charit Amrita quotes in Sri Shivila Kusumanjali in the connection, of course, because of this wonderful day today with Guru Tattva and with the mercy which is distributed through Guru Dev, the Brahma which is distributed due to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda and Guru Tattva and of course Guru Dev personally. So last time we ended up in verse number 64 of Sri Vilala Kusumanjali. And so we start at 65 now. And it's a wonderful quote because I know Gurudev loves this verse very much. So we start up with that. Nitya Sitta Krishna Prema Satya Kabunoi Shravanadi Shuta Chitte Koroye Udoi. Here we start the quote of Chaitanya Charin Amrita. Love for Krishna is eternally present in the heart. It is not to be created. And it is not a new attainment. It awakens in the heart, which is purified by hearing and chanting Krishna's glories. Krishna has always placed an all blissful item of his pleasure potency, Ladini Shakti, within the hearts of his devotees. Yeah. And when and when it is captured in the devotee's heart, it shines there as Brahma. Actually, Krishna extends his Ladini potency everywhere, just as the sun freely extends his rays everywhere. But it is not noticed by those whose hearts are contaminated by Maya. The devotees who practice the process of hearing, chanting and remembering the Lord's glories can soon capture his pleasure potency within their purified hearts where it starts to shine like Brahma. Therefore, the first endeavor of the serious devotees must be to nicely follow the process of hearing and chanting. The Gaudiya Vaishnavas don't like anything else, but the personal service of Sri Radha. Only the Radha Kinkaris are eligible for such loyalty. Again the quote, Nitya Sitta Krishna Prema Satya Kabunoi Shravanadi Shuta Chitta Koroye Udoi. So 
So Krishna is Shakti within the hearts of his devotees. It's placed there. But it needs to be set on fire. <laughs> it needs a spark. So the spark is given by Gurudev. It is set on fire by Gurudev. Gurudev is actually making the ground. So that this fire of Brahma can dwell up in the heart of the devotees again. But the wonderful thing is, it's there already. Krishna has placed it. Transfer. But it needs another pure devotee to activate it again, to dig for it, put all the trash away and dig for it, and give one drop of the mercy of Radharani inside so that it can grow again. And then all the trash will go away by the process of hearing and chanting, which is given by Gurudev. And also the remembering of the glories of the Lord, which means the Leelas. This remembrance of the Leelas is also given by Gurudev. So everything starts with that. And the Gaudiya Vaishnavas don't like anything else but the personal service of Sri Radha. And this wish can only come by a person who is already in the service of Sri Radha. Only a Radha Kingari. <clears throat> and give that mercy so that we also can go on this path of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Only the Radha Kinkaris are eligible for such loyalty. Why? Yeah, why? <laughs> Somebody wants to answer? <laughs> Why? Because they are selfless. Because they have no motivation then to serve. That is called Seva Ras. And that feeling of Seva Ras is very attractive to Sri Guru. And Sri Guru will give such a disciple who really wants to serve with the whole body and mind and life all the needed power and blessings for their service to increase. That is the mood of the Dasis of Srimati Radhika. It is already, you know, in the heart of every living entity is some little spark of this Ladini Shakti, as we have heard. But to ignite and to make the fire bigger, we need the mercy of Sri Guru. And then this loyalty of Adasi and, you know, unselfish service mode, not for myself, not for my pleasure, 
not for my uh, happiness, but when you are happy, Gurudev, then I am happy. When you are happy, Das Swamini, then I am happy. That is the Seva Ras, and that is why only the Kinkaris who have this mood can enter into that Prem Seva. Mm. Mm. But, Gorani. The purest path of love can only be given by a person who is actually exactly on this path. And there's actually in, I, I heard so many times from different gurus that the guru is like a person who has some, what is it called, some fan in the hand. And he sees that little spark there, still glowing a little bit, and the rest outside is garbage. But expertly, he is giving wind to that little spark so that the fire can start up again. Grow. Mm -hmm. And grow more and more and burn all the garbage down. So it's an expert giver of the wind, which means also Rati. Who has Rati? He can give Rati. Who don't have Rati? He cannot give Rati. So that's why you need the person who has the right Rati, not just any Rati, the right Rati for our spark. And set it on fire again. And then the heart burns. And by the burning of the heart, some wonderful thing happens. You know, when a fire is really burning, then also sparks are actually going everywhere. Mm. And other people are also set on fire. Mm. And the whole area will burn more and more. Fire is distributed. And this example we had yesterday evening here in the garden of Soniti, Angora, there was really a fire of Brema, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> by your by your kirtan and Madhuri's kirtan. It was the Brema burning in the garden and sparks were flowing everywhere <laughs> and wind distributed the sparks. And I saw that everyone was so happy. Even people who were not so used to that process, they were so happy, they were crying. So happy. So this is how the process is actually working. And we can see Gurudev was traveling around the world and everywhere set some sparks, fired it up. And now more and more we can see that fire is burning everywhere and all the cities and everything is growing more and more. And Sri Sri Radha Govindadas Babaji was with us in the garden. And we could feel that it was not just not just a multi. He was there. Whenever we take him with us, even if we work, like, you know, usual work, we work with children who have some trauma from uh, something. Always when they are there, just if they are near, if it's possible, we take them with us, Giriracha and Gurudev, then actually all this power is distributed so much and it's always a very, very special atmosphere. 
isn't it? Yes. Rav Sundari. Yes. Rav Sundari says yes, yes. We have this experience. Param Gurudev with us, and of course Giri Raj, Giri Rani with us. Then the sparks are distributed. So that's why we need this connection to this fire, to this burning fire of Rati, special Rati, the Rati we want. And the Gaudiya Vaishnavas only want that Rati. This, yeah. Can I read a quote from yeah, this? Of course, uh, of course. I am just uh, quoting a small passage from Sri Bhak Prema Bhakti Chattaka about this Divya Gyan Rede Prakashito, what we were singing. How is this Divya Gyan in coming into the heart? How is it how it is received and how is this fire of devotion, this Divya Gyan? How is it uh, transferred and growing? And this is so nice. When the disciple exclaims this, Oh, Gurudev, I am surrendered to you. Or, Oh, Swamini, I am surrendered to you. Or, Param Gurudev, I am surrendered to you. When the disciple exclaims this, and surrenders his body, mind, and life heirs to Sri Guru Dev. Then Sri Guru, with the touch of the power of the ambrosial principle of Godhead, anointed with his own compassion, which acts like a touch stone that turns iron into gold. That is also interesting. That the compassion of Shiguru, the, the, the empathy, the feelings of Shiguru act like a touch stone that turns iron into gold. Just then, if Shiguru is having a, a feeling, oh, I want to really ha help this disciple, that Dasi. I want to make them improve. Only that feeling, when it comes from Sri Guru, it is turning iron into gold, means our stone-like hearts, my stone-like heart, into some loving, melting feelings. And then, along with the power of his own devotion, filled with his worship of the, of the Lord, or we can say here, our Swamini, filled with her worship of Swamini, infuses devotion into the body, the mind, and the life heirs of the disciple. So that's also interesting. No? The devotion is transferred into the body, the mind, and the life heirs. So it is like all you know, like all pervading this devotion can, like you said, the spark can start to fire up the whole existence of a disciple. And thus making the disciples' body and senses qualified for the transcendental devotional service of Srimate Radhika's lotus feet. The body, mind, and senses of the sadaka have thus become spiritualized, spiritualized, and merged into the worship of Swamini. And only by Sri Guru's grace it can be accomplished that this stays in every limb of the body, so that it stays uh, with us. That is grace. That the infusion of bhakti, of love, of mercy will also spiritualize the body, mind, and life heirs. It is very 
It goes very deep. Like every breath can be in service. We are praying for this today. It's this special day today where we are praying. Dibya Gyan, Ride Prakashito, Deshi Gurudev, please open my heart and give this some drop of your mercy, of your Chantamani feelings for Swamini, for your Gurudev, that we can also develop our spiritual form, senses, mind, and feelings. Let them be burning life airs, burning in Rati. Dio. <laughs> <laughs> The scriptures and the saints have glorified the names Radha, Radhika, and Gandharvika because these names have defined Radha's real constitutional position. Krishna Vancha Purti Rupa Kore Haradhana. Atta eva radhika nama purane bhakhana. She worships Krishna by fulfilling his desires. The Puranas have called her Radhika. Brahma is the best ingredient for worshipping Krishna and Sri Radhika is the presiding goddess of Brahma. No one knows how to serve Krishna like she does. And she is not known in connection with anything else but loving Krishna. The bondage of emotions is called Brahma. So that's a wonderful point. The bondage. Everything starts with Sambandha. Sambandha is the base. So Radharani is Sambandha with the loving, sweet Krishna. When we want to serve that, we also need Sambandha to a person who has already some bandha. Relation. Relation. What kind of relation we want? That kind of person in relation we need for starting up that some bandha. And it's such a wonderful definition, isn't it? The bondage of emotions is called Brema. Binding. Yes, you are bound, completely bound by love. Completely like Mumya. Mumya? <laughs> like a mummy. <laughs> mummy? Completely bound. And this is actually Radharani is completely bound to her beloved. There's nothing else known about her. It's clearly said here. She is not known in connection with anything else but loving Krishna. So if we are not known to be in connection with anything else but Sevarasa to Radha, 
then we are bound completely with Radharani. We are the shadow. If she moves, we move. Like she moves, we move. Because it's bound, completely bound. How you can move in another direction if you're completely bound? It's not possible. No space. So we need this bondage of love, of Brahma. So Gurudev, please bind us up very strongly. We are ready to be bound, Gurudev. <laughs> we hold still. So <laughs> beautiful Brahma is that bondage of emotion between a loving couple that is never destroyed. Although there may be ample reasons to break up. Many reasons, yeah. There may be. So there may be reasons because of the character of some person who cannot stay with one person. There may be so many reasons to break up this bondage, but Prema does not allow this. This does not come from one side. But from both sides. Radha is the embodiment of love that has Krishna as its object. And that is again meeting with the love Krishna feels for Radha. Because Radhika's love, uh, because Radhika loves Krishna completely, Sri Krishna also surrenders to her service by applying by applying red luck to her load uh, food soles, making tea luck on her forehead massaging her feet, and so on. So actually, he's going in the position of a manjari. Mm -hmm. He wants to be in Sevarasa. He's actually the enjoyer. But he wants to leave his position. He wants to be in Seva Rasa. As an independent lady love, Swadina Bartrika, Srimati can order him to do these things without any hesitation. It is not the service of the maid servants, nor even the service of Sri Krishna, then it is love itself serving her. It is the culmination of deep love, heart's service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should explain. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it is not the service of the maid servants, nor even the service of Sri Krishna, then. It is love itself serving her. 
Prema. How is that? Prema is serving Prema. Yes, how is that? Isn't that amazing? Everything is becoming Prema. So that is, everything is in Mahabhav. That is actually Goranga Gurdi. So it's, oh, they, all of them are together there in Prema. Prema makes all of them dance. As an independent lady love, Swadina Vahatrika, Srimati can order him to do these things without any hesitation. It is not the service of the maid servants, nor even the service of Sri Krishna then. It is love itself serving her. So that's amazing. Because we cannot serve Krishna without surrendering to Radha. And even Krishna surrenders to Radha first to serve her. So that's why she helps Krishna, this her Mahabhav, and this Mahabhav through him serves her. Like the Manjari, yeah. the Mahabhav from Radha is serving. Radharani, Jai ho, this is serving Krishna. I'm like, we find a new thing today. <laughs> <laughs> By your mercy. Radhe. 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 And Shrida. Hey. It's, it's always Shrida. about the same. Because I'm meditating always on the same. That <laughs> Prema is Krishna dancing, devotees dance and dance himself, no? All three dancing one place. Yeah. Prema makes Prima makes Krishna dance, makes the devotees dance, and dance itself. All three dancing in one place. Wow. Sanya Antelila 1889. You can see everywhere, also last time we were talking about how um, Radharani is giving with her ankle bells the rhythm to Krishna's flute play. So even there, she is giving, like she is making everything move, everything moving because of her. It's so nice. So thank you for again, <laughs> again showing. So that also wonderful. You. I request Guru that please yeah. picture some. No, Today, today is your feast, Guru Purnima. Yeah, oh, <laughs> my Guru Dev. <laughs> Today my Guru Dev feast is there. For you, your Guru Dev for, for us. For me, my Guru Dev Purnima is there. <laughs> right? I'm a student today to listen and learn. Right? <laughs> And we love to listen you also, Rudy. And you all are telling the words of Gurudev. So you are teaching me what to do. This is Guru Purnima. <laughs> Actually, this is a nice example also of the same topic. Gurudev is giving us the Prema and we try to serve him and he says that we actually are serving him in this way that we speak the words of his guru Dev, but actually he gave us this in the first place in the first place so it's actually this circle which closes again so it's the same actually like we just heard you are the explanation of my guru Dev, and you are inspiring again that i not forget this to serve my This is your Gurudev, I cannot say you are not right, so I have to say, yes, you are right. So, but then I have to see, because of your mercy, I am in the position I am. So it's just your mercy, which is again the mercy of Param Gurudev. So you are right. 
it's a circle of mercy and drama. Mm -hmm. And this is so wonderful. Everything turns just around Brema. Even here in the material world. Ananda Das Babaji in one explanation, I don't know which words, but he is telling. Then everything gets sweet. The material world is sweet. Your seva is sweet. The spiritual sky is sweet. Everything gets sweet. Uh -huh. Yes. It's the association is sweet. Yes. yes. Listening to you, uh, listening, you feel that you remain engaged and connected in the service. What can you say something? What does, does it mean exactly? This is full moon. Full moon means nobody is in darkness. Mm -hmm. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> And what is the full moon when you not your foggy mind is there? You can see Gurudev, your Gurudev in every living being and to everyone who is trying to help you to inspire for the spiritual development. So mm -hmm. Guru Dave expand in every living beings. That is that is divine. And this divine makes you divine. If I think that this is Guru Purnima for me, because I am a Guru Dev Kapoor. 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 <laughs> They cannot grow. When Guru Purnima is for my Gurudev and I am still disciple of him, then he is not foggy mind. He is with his Gurudev connected and he wants to be like a student to learn all the time. That's the beauty of Guru Purnima. Mm. It is the culmination of deep love, heart's service. It is the culmination of deep love, heart's Service. When you see Jitade Khotatri Shammai, where the Radharani is looking only Krishna, <laughs> the disciples see only his Gurudev. <laughs> and Manjari see only his Raj, so many Raj. That is deep connection. Only one thing, and when I cannot see in divine way to my Gurudev, everywhere to my Gurudev, I will never see this in my student. It moves like through the Gurudev. Because he gives divine eyes. Chakshudan Deloje Janame Janame Prabhu say the pigeon is Prem Bhakti Jahawate Abhidya Vinaspate Bede Gaye Jaharachavit. Yeah. 
For instance, at night's end, the Sakis are asking, why are you messing up our Priya Sakis clothes and ornaments? Put them back where they were. Shyam dresses Swamini. Slightly smiling, he draws leaves on Radhika's breasts with a fragrant substance and boldly describes his pastimes with Radhika in the previous night to the Sakis. Sri Radhika then rebukes him with lowered eyes of bashfulness. These rebukes make Krishna even more happy than any other service she may render to him. And in this way, Radhika worships him. The sweetness of Shyam's love then becomes manifest on Radhika's face. In connection with this prema, Radhika is hmm. what is this? Yet died means died. He she takes his color. Ah, okay. Hmm? Died. When Shrimati Radhika is with Mohan and he is completely overwhelming her, then she takes on his color. And also the other way around, we hear a lot of times that Gauranga, he took Radhika's color when he is completely overwhelmed by her. So in the other way, also Swamini sometimes takes on blue color. Actually, because today is the day of Guru Purnima. That is when she also is Ananga Manjari. So, what we see is that the love of the person who serves is firing up the love of the person who gets the service. And this is firing up the love of the person who serves. So that's a power station, huh? It gets more and more higher and higher. She manifests a wonderful sweetness in each of her limbs. Like the smile on her face, the glances from her eyes etc. Sri Rata's natural glance is undulated by the waves of her love for Krishna. Sri Rata's devotional activities are very sweet in the eyes of Shyam. First, with her own hands, Swamini draws a picture of Shyam in the Kunja. Shyam Sundara enters the Kunja and sees her looking at his picture and thinking, somehow I spend the days holding your picture to my heart. Now you have come here. Will I not accept you? Come, come. Thus, through the connection of Brahma, the color of love comes gushing out. Second, Sri Radhika stretches out her arms, 
holding a high branch to pick flowers. She shows her armpits. All the time, she did not say anything. She speaks by showing her armpits. Brahma becomes tasteful because of their mutual love. What a wonderful example. And Radharani knows in every moment what she has to do to make him happy now. Sometimes she has to speak, sometimes she has to look, sometimes she has to just be quiet and show her armpits. <laughs> she always knows how to render the perfect seva. And she is giving us that, that knowledge, knowledge from the heart. She is giving to us. So now comes again another quote from Chaitanya Charitamrita. Sri Rata is the best known as the embodiment of love for Krishna. Krishna Preme Bhavita Yara Chitendriyakaya Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Her body, senses, and mind are all made of love for Krishna. Her body, senses, and mind are all made of love for Krishna. It just reminds me when we were speaking of the devotee gets the fire in body, senses, mind, life, airs. Through and through. <laughs> Same like Radhika. The same like Radhika. It's so amazing. We are little copies of Radhika. Little copies. Because we are Dachi of Radhika. Yes. We have Dachi of we are shadow of Radhika. The shadow has the copy of original. There's no need to do copy. The shadow, the original, make uh, copy in shadow. <laughs> Thing to do, I need to become Dasi. She makes her Priyatama melt. Their relationship is completely free from all and reverence. Ah, that's a... the, What happened? Pritama, what happened? We did it melted. again, she makes it melt. She makes her Priyatama her beloved Krishna, melt. Melt. <laughs> yeah. 
He becomes very soft, Gurudev. Yeah, so this is Supreme Personality of Godhead, that He melts with only with love. This is a supremacy. <laughs> Nobody need apples. The Krishna, only in Krishna, he can melt by the love of Krishna, our beloved. He melts. He melts totally. He thinks what to do now how to serve you, how to make happy to you. What to do for you? I make care of you, I can massage you, I can dress you, I can make, <laughs> decorate your breast. I want to do only yourself. Mm. Yeah. How to put all time your feet. melting. This is in the melting condition. We do. Just had this picture in yeah. in my inner eye that a candle which melts also drops down. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in the material world. So he's so much melted when Rararani is in Brahma Vajitya. He's so much melted that he has to taste her love and also distribute it to everyone, to all the jivas. Their relationship is completely free from awe and reverence. The embodiment of love for Krishna is colored by Krishna's love. Yeah. Mm. Wait again. The embodiment the embodiment of love for Krishna is colored by Krishna's law. So the embodiment of love for Krishna is colored by Krishna's love. One day Swamini picks flowers in Vrindavan when Shyam comes there dressed as a garland-making girl. Shyly, Radhika walks away. How amazing is her power. She covers her limbs with a blue veil in the mood of I am a princess. Can a garland girl like you just stand before me? Her bodily luster mixes with the color of her blue whale, showing the shapes of each of her limbs through the thin cloth, so that yeah. Shyam's eyes can enjoy the sweetness of these limbs. 
he has never seen her like that before. Because all of these extraordinary kinds of worship, she is called Radha. I just get the picture that he is melting him and he is melting her. And when they are together melted, if you melt the blue and the yellow, then you get the green. And that is Vrindavan. So Vrindavan is the place where Radha and Mohan's hearts are always melting each other. Um, and it's the color of the heart. Mm. Together melted, they come here as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in one form. And when they are here in that form, Alinganena. Alinganena. We are in verse number 67, and the next quote of Chaitanya Charit Amrita is in direct connection. Of course, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is showing attributes which are not seen in this world. So he is addressed like, such transcendental attributes are not possible in a mere living entity. Chaitanya Charit Amita Matya Lila 8.43 So amazing. But Krishna's friends and Braj eat his food and climb on his shoulder. Therefore, there is no other place but Braj, which is free from any whiff of awe and reverence. So how could stay awe and reverence in the melted form <laughs> of such Mahabha? Not possible. And that's why without allegiance to the people of Braj, there will be in Vitably come some Aishwarya Kyan. Sri Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the complete non-dual truth. And Sri Radha is the Supreme Goddess, Swayam Bhagavati, the complete Mahabhav. This is the Tattva side. But we know there's also a Rasa Again. side. Sri Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The complete non-dual truth. And Sri Radha 
is the supreme goddess Swayam Bhagavati, the complete Mahabhav. This is the Tattva side of it. But what we know is the Rasa side. He is Sri Rata's Prana Bandhu. Yeah. Sri Rupa Goswami humbly stayed in Haridas Thakur's cottage at Puri, afraid to approach Mahaprabhu directly. But in Raj, as Rupa Manjari, he prays. Chatu Pushpanchali 23. O Empress of Brindavan, O Sri Radike, please make Kishiripu Krishna or the self same Mahaprabhu pitifully pray to me for your audience. The sweet mood towards Krishna, totally free from awe, is nowhere else to be found but in the shelter of Sri Radha's lotus feet. The sweet mood towards Krishna, totally free from awe, is nowhere else to be found but in the shelter of Sri Radha's lotus feet. Yeah. Sri Radha. Hmm? Srila Rupa Goswami shows that even in Braj, there is more awe and reverence felt by Chantravali than by Sri Radhika. Chantravali takes her left arm from Krishna's shoulder. while they are dancing in the Rasa festival and embraces him with her right arm instead. Carefully and crookedly, she moves both her feet, being afraid that she will hit Krishna's feet while they dance together. Seeing this, all the young girls laugh. Note. Chantravali removes her left Vama arm and uses her right Dakshina arm because she is a submissive, a Dakshina gopi, while Sri Radhika is proud and unsubmissive Vama. So how freely and sweetly our Swamini dances how freely and independently she lifts her feet upon Shyam's chest. Sri Rupa says, I am a maid servant of that Radha. That's why Shyam is simply wandering behind me. I am a maid servant of that Radha. That's why Shyam is simply wandering behind me. In Kashi, Benares, Sriman Mahaprabhu and Sanatan Goswami embraced each other to the astonishment of Chandrasekhar. Dui Janak 
गहला गहली रोदन अफारा डिक्की चंत्र शेकर एरा होलो चमत्कारा चैतन्य चावल अमृत Sri Goranga had just returned from Vrindavan and was in the ecstasy of Virahini, the separated Radha. And Sri Sanatan Goswami was absorbed in his Sita Swarup of Labanga Manjari. Both were absorbed in their previous moods of Krishna's Raj Lila. But as soon as they returned to external consciousness, the mood of awe and reverence returned. Sanatan then said, Tomash Parshi Pavitra Hoyte, Sakti Bole Para Tumi Pramanda Sodite. I am touching you to purify myself. On the strength of your devotion, you can purify the whole universe. The service of Sri Rata is Sriman Mahaprabhu's gift and was taught by himself and by the Acharyas who surrendered to his lotus feet. When one Sita Swarup awakens, feelings of separation from Sri Rata will become very strong. When one Sita Swarup awakens, feelings of separation from Sri Rata will become very strong. I want to see you today, at this moment. I won't waste any more time. I am alone, without any company. With whom else but you should I stay? That's the mood of someone who was touched by Sri Radharani's mood. This is also a wonderful point, isn't it? When one Siddha Swarup awakens, then feelings of separation from Sri Rata will become very strong. Wow. Yeah. Only then we can say, I want to see you today, now, right now, in this moment. I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to waste time. I'm completely alone, without any company, because if I don't have your company, I feel completely alone. And this is what Rati Manjuri, Dila Raguna Das Goswami was praying at Radhakum like this. When he came back in his Sadak Avesh, immediately he was crying. I'm completely alone. I don't have any other shelter than you. I have to serve you personally. Even Smarana, 
is not helping. Even sporty is not enough. And this can only happen when one Sita Swarup awakens. With whom else should I stay? That's the mood of someone who was touched by Sri Radharani's mood. Mahaprabhu himself weeps. Because of my agitation, the day will not pass. A second appears to be like an age to me, and my eyes are like monsoon clouds that shower tears. Out of separation from Govinda, the three worlds seem to be empty. I am burning in a slow fire and my life will not leave me. Das Goswami is in that state. I feel so much pain in my heart. Please stop my misery. Show yourself to me today. How deeply he is absorbed in his Siddhasvaru. Now he is not Raghunath. Now he is to Lassimanjari and falls on the bank of Sri Radhakund, anxiously lamenting. O oh, beautiful lake, how many pastimes isn't my Ishwari playing on your banks with her most dearly beloved Priyatama? How dear you are to Rata Shyam. I don't want anything else. Please show me Ishwari's lotus feet just once. Some of this love and separation for Swamini will also awaken in the heart of the aspirant who follows in the footsteps of such an Acharya as Srila Raghunathas Goswami. And here we are back in Guru Purnima. Some of this love and separation for Swamini will also awaken in the heart of the aspirant who followed in the footsteps of such an Acharya as Srila Raghunathas Goswami. So we need this role model. We want to follow in the footsteps. Rupa Anuga. So that's why we need a person who is doing this and showing us, taking us in this family, who everyone is following these footsteps 
of Satchanacharya as Srila Raghunathas Goswami. Shira para Gurudev Sri Shirada Govinda Das Babaji Ki Sri Shirada Govinda Das Babaji Ki Shila Gurudev Ki Sri Shila Kuzumanjali Ki This is the Kepa of Gurudev We receive this this is the special issue, Yeah, so far. So this is the Guru Purnima to remind us full moon, no foggy. Foggy mind cannot see. Because today is a full moon, we have to, we can see it, the Divine Mercy of our Guru. What happens, how He changed my life? I hate the Gita, I don't come for that. But he changed me. I'm not qualified to do what he guided me. We have to open eyes, eyes and heart to feel and do this. This blessing we need from all of you. Please help me. If I do not in this body, when I will do, all the favorable circumstances are there and I am neglecting to do it. So we need the blessing of all the Ishamba and think that to remind the words of Guru and try to follow in your life and get in this life. That's the best good love in life. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, thank you, and thank Param Gurudev and all this family up to our Nikai and <laughs> Janavama. We are all family. Yeah. Are all brother and sister of the same goal. This is the character. We help each other for the same goal. Mm. This is the real brother and sister who is honest, sincere, not self interested. Other brothers, sister, also self-interest. Everyone is interest, but his spiritual brothers, sisters, they have no self-interest. Where is Prasad? We are not seeing. Taking rest, Gurudev. I think he's uh, after a long travel. He needs some. Break. Break. 
But he is also following the footsteps, Gurudev. <laughs> the footsteps following is a nice picture. We can uh, easily imagine what we have to do. Because when we start, and the first who walked this path first, like Raghunath, and we follow the Parampara, they all walk the same steps. And for us, it's easy only to put one foot after the other in these footsteps. So automatically, we find the goal because the footsteps are there. <laughs> only, <laughs> only put one leg, then the next, and all the steps, footsteps are there. Because our Gurudev is in front of us. <laughs> Only one, next, next, easy to walk. Because the goal is clear. And when we read this Villa Kushmanjali, then it's so clear where we like to go. And we only have to follow you and your Gurudev and his Gurudev and so on. Footsteps are there. It's like a family of ducks. <laughs> you know, a, a duck, when they have little babies, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. the big ducks are walking in front and mm -hmm. the small are following in a, in a line, right? <laughs> They're using the same... Mm. You can see that it, it, it's such a wonderful picture. Yes. And, and everybody loves that picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mother is diving, yeah. the little ducks also diving. Follow They're following. <laughs> and Fortunately, verse number 68, which is actually the next one, we will read next time the, the quotes. It describes actually how is the relationship. Oh, my dear friend, Rupa Manjari. Oh, my dear friend, Rupa Manjari. When can I walk behind you? Ah. When you ba. lovingly take wide-eyed goddess Radhika, ba. who is moved by waves of desire, to the blade row that is decorated by Sri Hari, as she holds her wine-like arm with yours. Oh, such a wonderful picture and it shows the relationship my dear friend no or no reverence my dear friend so my dear friend is uh, uh uh, Raghunata says to yes. Rupa, my yes. dear friend, when can I walk behind you? Wow, it describes actually the same. <laughs> so nice. Our navigator. Oh, my dear friend, Ananga Manjari, when can I walk behind you when you lovingly take the umbrella over the head <laughs> of Radha and give her shade like this? Jai Ho! Jai Jai Shri Radha! Hey. Hey.